Sunny skies in Southern California, a fitting backdrop for the promise of fireworks on Sunday night, December 5th, from here at the Staples Center in LA, and only on Showtime pay-per-view. A very unique matchup in the lightweight division, featuring young stars and sluggers, multi-division champion Gervonta Tank Davis, putting his unbeaten record on the line against a big puncher, an agitator, a man looking to upset the apple cart come December 5th, Rolando Roly Romero. My name is Brian Campbell and welcome into the press conference announcing this event Sunday night, December 5th, Showtime pay-per-view and in association with Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, and TGB Promotions. Fight fans, tickets go on sale tomorrow. That's Thursday, October, sorry, today, Thursday, October 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific time. It can be purchased at AXS.com. Before we hear from the fighters and take some questions from the media, some special guests I want to bring up, the architect behind everything going on is Showtime Boxing, the president of Showtime Sports, Mr. Steven Espinoza. Thank you, Brian. For Showtime Sports, 2021 has been one of our most prolific and, and maybe strongest years on record. Uh, at the end of this year, we will have delivered a total of 42 live boxing and MMA events. That's the second biggest year in the history of the network in the 35-year history of televising combat sports. Um, 18 live boxing events over the first nine months of this year. 57 fights, including two exhibitions. Nearly half of those, by the way, ended in KOs. And I have a feeling December 5th, the main event, we're not going the distance either with two of the biggest punchers in the division, two exciting young fighters going head to head. On top of the amazing boxing schedule we've had this year, we've also had 14 live Bellator events. Uh, this weekend, a legend in MMA, Fedor will be headlining from Moscow the week after. Two weeks after that, we'll be in Dublin with Bellator. But on the boxing side, we're about to kick off a really strong, a really remarkably strong five fights in six weeks. Begins next week, October 30th, with a great welterweight card from Las Vegas featuring rising star Jerron Ennis, welterweight champ Jamal James, the very exciting Michelle Rivera, then it's on to November 6th, featuring the number one star in the sport, pound for pound, consensus number one fighter Canelo Alvarez, looking to become undisputed champion. Then November 13th, David Benavidez headlines from Phoenix. November 27th, Fulton and, and Figueroa, Brandon and Steven will be going for the unified title. In short, week after week, year after year, Showtime has been and continues to be the standard bearer in this sport. There's no other network in this sport that's delivering the sport with the experience, the clarity, the sophistication that we do. There's no one else in combat sports delivering stronger action, more meaningful fights. And on December 5th, Sunday, December 5th, we're capping off that run with a very exciting matchup. Gervonta, 25 and 0, 24 knockouts, He's a three-division champion, currently holding two titles in two different divisions. This will be his 11th time on Showtime. He's never been down as a pro. And the remarkable thing, over his last three fights, he's been in three different divisions, super lightweight, super featherweight, and lightweight. While the rest of the division is out there arguing and debating and doing everything but fighting, Tank is busy fighting, selling out arenas in Baltimore, selling out arenas in Atlanta, doing four and a half million dollar gates. You know, he's quiet except when he's in the ring and he lets his action speak for him. Roley Romero, this will be his fifth fight on Showtime and Showtime pay-per-view. He is the number one contender ranked by the WBA. He's also never been down as a pro. And there's one thing that 
Well, there's several things that are unique about him. Roley is, without question, one of the most confident fighters in the sport. Just ask him, he'll tell you. And he'll tell you in just a few minutes. Absolutely. He's undefeated. He's a big puncher. And unlike a lot of fighters, he says he likes fighting lefties. And he's a puncher. So at the end of the day, there's titles at stake. There's rankings at stake. But really, we have one of the old, oldest storylines known to man. When two guys have a dispute, when they've got beef, what do you do? How do you settle that? It goes back to the caveman days, right? You fight. There are a lot of reasons why fights get made. There are title fights, there are mandatory fights, there's rematches. But when there's a personal rivalry between two guys, when two guys have beef, when two guys just don't like each other, it goes back to the earliest days of mankind. What do you do? Well, in boxing, we have a solution for that. You get in the ring, you fight, and on Sunday, December 5th, we'll settle it then. We'll see you there. Thank you so much, Steven. I think you, you said it right. While both fighters will bring in a part of the overall lightweight title to this sport, it's been more about bad blood and that rare promise of a knockout in this matchup. And the man who didn't hesitate to match these two together, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, let's hear from Leonard Ellery. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Mayweather Promotions is excited to bring this huge, huge event to Los Angeles here at the Staples Center on December the 5th. This is a tremendous matchup, and again, we are really, really excited, and the fans should be really excited. Um, there's a tremendous buzz already. Tickets went on sale this morning, and they're flying like hotcakes. Again, because anytime you have two exciting fighters, this is what the fans really want to see. And in this case, you got two fighters, and both of these guys truly despise each other. And that's very rare that you see that in boxing. So I can recall in 2019, me and Floyd was at the uh, Spence Garcia fight. And we're sitting there in the corral and we're talking, you know, getting ready for the fight. And all of a sudden, these two, well, uh, Roley was already there and Tank walk up. And all of a sudden, they getting ready to get it popping right there at ringside. And, you know, Floyd tells them, like, hey, hey, we don't do stuff like that. If y'all gonna do something, we do it in the ring, but we, we conduct ourselves like professionals. And you know, here we go. You know, this fight, in my eyes, will probably be the fight of the year, or something close to it, for as long as it lasts. Not comparing the fighters, but I truly, truly expect this fight to, to reflect an old fight of Hagler versus Hearns, where there was nothing but punches flying everywhere, and the fight ended in a vicious knockout. And I truly expect this fight to end the same way. In Tank's case, without a doubt, Javante Davis is the most exciting fighter in the entire world. He's also one of the biggest attractions in the entire world. He's also one of the best fighters in the entire world. And because it's no secret that Roley has let it be known that He's the troll king, you know. So for, for quite some time, Roley has been trolling Tank. And I'm sure on the night of December the 5th, Tank will be looking to do any and everything he can to finally shut Roley up. In Roley's case, Roley is a very, very explosive fighter. Anytime he steps in that ring, he's looking to get his opponent out of there. You know, he's a guy that he never lacks confidence and he's very confident, come December the 5th, that he's gonna get the job done. He's told me, he's told Floyd, he's told Al, that he's knocking Tank the fuck out on December the 5th. So, the way I look at it, like I said, the fans are the winners when it comes to something like this. You know, in Roley's case, again, he's a, he's a, a tremendous puncher, he's a big, big lightweight, and he's very, very strong. But one thing that Floyd Mayweather has always taught me from day one, he says, everybody can dish that shit, but can you take it? 
So when, in this case, when you have tr two tremendous punchers, there's no way, humanly possible, that this fight doesn't end in a knockout. So tune in, December the 5th, expect a knockout. Thank you, Leonard. Obviously, you, you, can't, you can't talk about Mayweather promotions without talking about the name on the banner, and we certainly want to acknowledge Floyd Mayweather, the TBE, to come on up, if you please. Nobody knows these two fighters better that'll match up on Sunday night, December 5th, than the unbeaten fighter, promoter, stylish entertainer as well. Let's give him credit for that. It's Floyd Mayweather. Um, I thought I, I thought I was done with this part, but two great fighters. And when I say great, I mean every time they go out there, they produce. Tank um, it was a young kid from Baltimore who had a dream. He'd been through a lot. He'd been through a lot of ups and downs, and um, he fought his way to the top. So, I mean, you you have to commend this kid for that. No matter what the media says, no matter what the people say, he earned his stripes. Day in and day out, he go out there and he produce. And that's what it's really about. It's about producing a hell of a training team. I can't, you know, I take my hat off to his team. Calvin and uh, the headbangers, you guys have, you know, Barry Hunter has done a tremendous job, you know, with so many different fighters in uh, the DMV area. Um, a lot of a lot of talented fighters from that area and I believe Tank is the number one fighter from that area he's one of the best fighters in the world but then the guy that he's facing right here Roley he said he want to be the best he want to fight the best so come December 5th we're going to match these two guys and it's going to be one hell of a fight you know I take my hat off to Roley and his team Roley is is tough He'll fight anybody. He'll spar anybody. Uh, so that's why this is a very, very intriguing matchup. Um, Roley wants the best. Roley feels like he's the best. And one thing about Tank is he's doing record-breaking numbers. And I told him in due time, you know, when I was, me and Tank was uh, uh, in Miami, you know, uh, bike riding on a yacht, just you know, just en enjoying life. I told him, you know, the same way, I, I, you know, I, I'm selling out stadiums, you're gonna do the same thing. And selling out arenas, you're gonna do the same thing. But you have, you have to have patience. He had patience in, and that's what we're doing. I mean, um, in the lightweight division right now, we don't have, um, we have guys with great names but not drawing power. And one thing about Tank, he has drawing power where he, um, we went to Atlanta. You guys seen what we did. We was able to go to Baltimore. You seen what we, we was able to do. Now we're in L.A. And um, L.A. needs some entertainment. So December 5th, we're going to have entertainment. And um, both of these guys, Roly, hell of a puncher, knockout artist. And um, every time we went to Roly and we presented an opponent we said what about this guy do you want to fight him? absolutely give him to me no excuses whereas we had a lot of other other fighters that's under the mayweather promotions banner as well as pbc uh promotion banner that's always no i don't want to fight this guy oh i don't want to fight this guy roley is a guy that said i'll fight anybody it doesn't matter so he talked his way up on this fight and he earned he didn't just talk he earned his stripes um some guys it takes 30 fights, 40 fights uh, to match up with uh, some of the best. With Roley, it didn't take that long. With Tank, it didn't take that long. And I just want to say I'm proud of both fighters as well as the people that's behind the scenes that was able to put this fight together because we have to work together as a team. I didn't do this by myself. Just like for me to get to where I got to in my career, I didn't do it by myself. So I have to commend my team and everybody that's behind 
uh, the GD, uh, GTD promotions that's working with Tank. And that's the ultimate goal for him to build his brand. So I take my hat off to GT, uh, GTD uh, as well as Showtime. I commend Showtime. When I first um, got with Steven, I told him that I would make Showtime the A side. Even though this is uh, Showtime pay-per-view, I was able to change the sport of boxing. And so I'm happy that I was able to uh, get involved with the sport and change it and take it to that next level, take it to that next level to whereas their other promoters was upset because I believe in the fighters getting the lion's share, not the promoters. Whereas years before I got in the fight game, they was taking advantage of fighters and the promoters w was getting uh, majority and, and a bigger share of the of the pot. Now I'm involved and I, and I truly believe in fighters getting a bigger share and fighters getting the most. Um, I, you know, I had my career, so I don't have to talk about uh, what I can do or what I've done. It's all about Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley. These guys are tremendous. I'm, I'm happy. I want to say, Leonard, I take my hat off to you. Um, doing a, a hell of a job, you know. When I'm traveling around, when I'm on my jet traveling the world and doing other things and doing, uh, getting involved with other businesses, somebody still has to run the day-to-day the -day business for Mayweather promotions. That's what these fighters don't understand or these fighters don't know. Um, Tank is the same way. Tank will fight anybody. He's the same way. When I'm in a boxing gym, we're in the gym training, it could be a light heavyweight. Tank like, oh, I'll box him. No, Tank. <laughs> Tank. But Tank, I take my hat off to you. I'm proud of you. Um, we're still growing. Nothing happens overnight. You, you're still growing. And you got the potential to surpass me. Um, in due time, we'll see. Um, the ultimate goal in boxing is for records to be broken. I never got into this sport to knock another fighter, to talk bad about another fighter, meaning, uh, of course, when you're building a fight, it's good to see all that drama. But what I'm talking about, far as any other legendary champion that was before me or any champion that's coming... Y'all get to that. Relax. Y'all get to that. Um, but um, so it's, it's so many legendary champions that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. And I commend all the champions before me and all the champions to come. Um, do I want to see my records broken? Absolutely. I'm not like that. Like I always say, the greatest thing about my career was being able to what I did when, when my career was over. I made smart investments. That's the best thing about my career. And I had fun in the fight game. But it's all about these young guys right here. These guys are the future of boxing. And um, like Leonard said, when I was in the back, uh, Leonard, Leonard said, um, he, don't see, he don't see this fight going the distance. Neither does I. Um, I just want to commend both, both sides, the coaches, um, the promotion team, for helping me put this together. Uh, two undefeated fighters, two knockout artists, two champions, December 5th. Hopefully I see all you guys there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Floyd. Before we get a chance to hear from the fighters, let's call up the men who are responsible for preparing these two action-packed lightweights for Sunday night, December 5th. First, from the Romero corner, his trainer, Bullet Cromwell. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? I know everybody think what the popular people say and what the media says about who's a champ, but the champ wasn't ever born a champ. He had to rise, too. And just like a young lion, Roley's ready to rise, too, like Simba did. You understand what I'm saying? One thing I want to say that I am an L.A. cat. 18 years in L.A., Washington High School, John Muir, Fauche, Melo. You know what I'm saying? When we come back here, we're fighting for a legacy. We're not fighting for a belt and just money. We're fighting for a legacy. I tell that to Roley. 
I tell that to his family. Javante Davis is standing in your way of changing your family and your legacy. We got a job to do. Murder, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. That's how we train. I don't care about pure boxing. I don't care about any style. Because in this fight game, one thing I've learned. Karate, street fighting, and boxing. I put it together. And that's why with a puncher with that much power and that, that much grind and grit, it's a perfect match in heaven. Calvin Ford, a lot of respect for you, brother, man. And your team, Tank, great fighter. I love knockout, so I got to love Tank. But I love him more. Rollie's next up, WBA champion and the new WBA champion. Roll on. Roll on. Thank you, Bullet. His counterpart in the corner of Gervonta Davis, the respected head coach, Calvin Ford. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Roly, love you, boy. Keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of that night, we're going to see you still be talking that night. I don't train Tank for knockouts. You know what I'm saying? I train him for the distance. Do the math. He can get you from 1 to 12. So stay sharp. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. And Team Davis is not just Coach Ford. Another decorated name in boxing circles, Mr. Barry Hunter. Can you say a few words? I'm so happy to be back in L.A. Um, what can I say? We all, Calvin was just talking about years of riding, even from the amateurs since he was about eight or nine years old. Um, Y'all know what we come to do. You know what I mean? Mad respect to the other side. Bring your A game, I know you will. Definitely we're gonna bring ours. We was talking about, this brother said where he was from. We from a little place in DC called Southeast. Look it up. And the same thing with Baltimore. So, we've been born and stuff like this here, man. And uh, like y'all said, this fight will not go the distance. Everybody's working hard. Everybody's going to be at their best. We don't want no excuses now. After it's over with, it's over with. But I got faith in mine. I know what he's going to do. Thank you so much, Coach. Time has come that we hear from the fighters themselves. Of course, in one corner... 14 and 0 with 12 KOs from Las Vegas. Coming to make a statement, Rolando Roly Romero. Man, I just want to say I'm excited to be here on Showtime. You know what I mean? I might be honestly the youngest, well, I mean, as far as like record wise, like as far as like all the YouTubers and stuff, with the exception of them, I might be the pay per view fighter with the, la with the least amount of fights, you know? But I mean, you guys are gonna see the summer fan, I'm gonna knock this, this dwarf the fuck out. That's how it is. You hear that? I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Flat line. Flat line. You know how it is. You damn fucking scared? What the fuck am I scared of? You literally... You, man. You a stupid fucking dwarf, man. I'm telling you, man. I can't even mess with your fucking head. I can't even mess with your fucking head. It's so fucking big like this fucking big. And your fucking little T-Rex arms, man. My dick's longer than your fucking arms. Yeah. I'm gonna knock this chump the fuck out. Like that. Thank you, Roly. Across from him, December 5th, 25-0 and 0 with 24 KOs, titles in three divisions. A star, no matter where he chooses to step into the ring, Gervonta Tank Davis. Uh, I just want to say, you know, thank Al Heyman, thank Maywell Promotion, thank Showtime, you know, uh, Thank you. I'm, I'm definitely uh, uh, thankful to be here. You know, uh, another day in the life. You know, that's what we do, man. This guy is here to talk. He's trying to talk his way into the fight. 
that ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? He's scared. He can't even talk when he come up here. He just he don't know. They ain't talk about no skills or nothing. They talk about how man how do you punch? I ain't trying to hit none of that. Where you from? We ain't trying to hit none of that. We from the city. You know what what's happening was in the city. You know what happened in the city. So we ain't trying to hit none of that. I'm coming to fight. If it was the streets, these niggas would been smoked. And that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what I did. That's what it is. That's what it is. You trash. You trash. He, he got a fur on. It's 80 degrees. On. Like, this nigga is crazy. Or big ass shoes on. Like, this man is crazy, bro. Like, this nigga a clown. It, nigga Jake Paul. He's crazy. It's like, it's hot as shit out here, man. But, anyways. And it's, it's, they never talk about no skill. They talk about power. And, and, and boxing is... Okay. Okay. He keep talking about Joette. He talk about Joette beat me twice. Okay, cool. That's when I was, what, 14 or something like that? It, come on, bro. The skills is way up to par. Niggas got to talk about something different. It's better than some damn power. Because we know what's coming with me. You know what's coming with me. And when you and, and, and when you in the trenches, you know, you, it's cool to shoot them bullets. How you gonna defend yourself when them bullets coming back? <laughs> That's my say. There you go. Thank you so much, Tank. I'm gonna kick off the Q and A process. We'll get to the media questions in a moment. But Gervonta, I want to start with you. You in a unique position where your last three fights all came at different weight classes. You chose to come back to 135 for this one. Why this weight class now? Why Roly Romero as the opponent? Why not? This guy been talking. He only trying to sell the fight. That's what it is. That's what he's doing. I remember walking in Mayweather gym. He's sitting on the couch. I told him he's a bum-ass fighter. He ain't say nothing, not one word. He's just trying to sell a fight. He, he, he's scared, man. This, this, he's a clown. He's a chump. I'm going to show him he's a chump December the 5th. I ain't come to play. I ain't come to talk. I wasn't going to do this this press conference, but I know it's sell the fight. It's sell, it, 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 you know, it, uh, Showtime and, you know, Al Hamm and Mayweather Promotion put that a lot of money behind this. But, you know, what, it come with us, man. We we had a fight, man. We don't do uh, too much talking. Tank, is this personal or do you look at Roley and the antics as as a bit of a clown or are you taking this as a personal this, attack that this you're going gonna... to? This is not personal. I heard uh, Leonard say it's beef and it ain't beef. You know what happened when, it, when it's beef. You know what's happening. So I ain't no beef. It's business. Leave it like that. On the flip side, Roly, you've been using Gervonta's name, social media, in front of microphones long before this fight was ever signed. From your standpoint, when, when did you first know you wanted this matchup, this was going to happen, and what has fueled your dislike for Gervonta Davis? Well, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've been calling him out with like 2017, 2018. And we're supposed to spar in 20, 2018, beginning of 2018 sometime, what man. What happened? Yeah, and you ain't I fucking you, show up. I, you ain't I fucking show up. To the gym. You, yeah, yeah, you said fuck it. To, you said 2 p.m., motherfucker. I showed up at 2 fucking p.m. And I had a fucking witness right fucking there. I got messages. I got all sorts of shit. You ain't fucking show up. Both times. Two fucking times because you knew you were going to get your ass beat. Simple as that. I'm here now. December 5th. I'm here. Yeah, December 5th, you're getting knocked I'm the here. fuck out. That's cool. Simple as that. Roly, you're as unique a personality as we've seen come across boxing pay-per-view levels in some time. We can see the flashy dress. We can see your history of knockouts in the ring. It's almost a supernatural level of confidence. What fuels that? The focus on the fight. I don't know. That's just me. That's just the way I am. That's the way I was born. Just like that. What do you say to those who look at what you've accomplished and say maybe this fight a little too early? Just 14 pro fights fighting one of the best pound for pound in the world. I mean, shit. I mean, there's been world champions with, with, with less amount of fights than me and all this stuff, you know? I came in this sport at 17. That's how you I know started boxing late. Came and you know what? I mean, on, I made the most out of what the hell I've done. And now I'm, what, 14 and 0? I'm, I'm fighting on pay I'm a knock. I'm a knock tank the fuck out. Everybody gonna see that shit. And as simple as that. We would like to open up questions from the media in attendance, or PR team. Here we go. 
I have a question for Tank Giandra LaBeouf, Boxing Insider. Tank, when you were on the come up, you were the bigger trash talker, you more secure in, in your position in the sport. When you look at Roley, what do you think of his trash talking and his boxing ability, and which do you think is better? When I was coming out, you seen when I fought Pedraza, I ain't do no talking. I was on a mission. When I went in that building, I had everybody against me, and I proved that I'm, I'm that top guy. This nigga is a clown. He ain't nothing like me. That's all he do is talk. That's what he went in that talking. I won December the 5th. Hi, uh, Raleigh. This is David Avila. Um, the lightweight division is really talented. Where do you rank Tank among those lightweights and why? I'll be honest. I mean, I got my number two. I got Teofimo as number one because Teofimo has all the belts. But I, mean, I got Tank as number two, so it's like that. Now, how he going to beat? Come on, bro. Come on, man. This nigga is a clown. He ain't... Come on. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> nigga is a clown, bro. I don't know what the fuck the motherfucker's saying. This nigga is a clown, bro. Rolly, we've seen you come out and, and not only predict a knockout, but a first-round knockout. When you look at Tank Davis, where what is the, the what gives you that confidence that you can finish him this quickly? I mean, he got a big-ass fucking head. It's kind of going to be kind of hard to fucking miss. I mean, he gets hit by every single opponent. I mean, little Santa Cruz is beating the fuck out of him until, I mean, it looks low, so the same punch three times in a row. Fucking what? First, what, like six, seven rounds? Barrios is beating the fuck out of him, too. He gets fucking punched by everybody. He literally gets punched by everybody. He's getting his ass beat by fucking 126-pounders. Shit. Sure. Go back to another media question. Uh, this question is for Roly Romero. Uh, Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Roly, uh, in your previous fights, we've seen you come out and you look like you've got an absorbent amount of anger and energy. Uh, how are you going to control that based on how irritated you seem? Uh, Javante Davis being such a devastating puncher, uh, how are you going to control your emotions uh, in order to keep yourself together? Not angry, just focused. You would have picked up on skills if you was focused. Clown. Steven Cureño, KOR to Sports. Gervonta, uh, I'm sure you've seen all this stuff on social media, the, the piñata, that stuff. Uh, I know with Mario Barrios, his trainer said, you know, they want to beat you to the white meat. Do you take some of the stuff that Roly's doing on uh, social media, use that as fuel uh, in camp? You've seen what happened with his coach, right? He regretted that. And his coach, he's not working on no... His, but they're not working on no, no nothing but power. They're not working on no skills or nothing. Pack all the, the whole group up. Pack them up. Pack them up and get them the fuck out of boxing. For real. 14 and 0, 12 knockouts. There's some skill to that. Power is skill. It's not no skills to no, for him fighting bums. He ain't fight nobody like me. He ain't fight nobody like me. Yeah. <laughs> Rolando. Y'all see it now. Right there. Muhammad Mubarak with the uh, Electronic Urban Report. This question is for Romero. If you win this fight, would you have a rematch with Jackson Romero? Jackson Romero. <laughs> Marinas? Yes. We offer him a rematch. We offer him a rematch, more money, he take the fight, he go fuck himself. All right. We have a final statement, Gervonta Davis, as we get closer to this fight. Sunday night. December 5th, Showtime pay-per-view. What can the fans, what can Roley Romero expect from Tank? Forget him. This for the fans, man. Uh, the fans won December 5th. You know, make sure y'all come out and support. You know, um, I'm thankful to be in this position. Once again, thank Al Hammond, Mayweather Promotion. You know, um, Showtime. You know, uh, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather personally. You know, and, uh, my team, man. GTD Promotions. Um, Lauren, my you know, my personal friends and things like that, family and friends. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, people that's push you in the right direction. So uh, come December the 4th, you know, you're going to see an action-packed fight. And that's what it is. Showtime pay-per-view, Sunday night, December 5th. Get your tickets at AXS.com. Thank you for the media and attendance. Now we're going to take a step back and get the fighters together to pose.